Hello guys, today I'm going to tell you how you can edit or modify any Android mobile application or game on your laptop or PC. If you search on Google, you will got too many other sources to edit or modify Android apps. You can do this by using Android Studio or Java Extractor CMD method or WinRAR method and so many other. Okay, but all of these methods need much extra Android based knowledge and the software which I'm going to tell you is really user friendly and simple. Even an initial level user can edit or modify any application by using this apk easy tool the software name is apk easy tool okay to use this tool you should have make sure that your system has installed java and .NET framework i already make a video related to download and install and how to create java home and i'm going to provide the links of these three softwares in my description you can check there so let's move to my browser okay here i'm going to write apk easy tool in my search bar hit enter you can see the first link forum.xda-developer.com you have to click on this link and then here when you click you will got the software the interface of that software will be look like that I will go in through with this letter but you have to go down 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 okay here you can found the download links of this apk easy tool I'm going to use this Android file host link click here and then just go down and you have to select the latest one is 1.541 portable zip you have to click this download link and then click here to start download the file will be downloaded 16.5 MB software so I already downloaded it I'm going to take you to my download location well this is my download location these are my downloads i already installed java and dotnet framework so i'm not going to install them again and this apk easy tool is portable winrar file so you just need to extract it and directly use this tool instead of any installation so let's extract it here extract files okay okay if you go inside this extracted folder you will go to exe files one is 32 bit and the other one is 64 bit this one 64 bit okay if your windows version is 32 bit then you have to use the 32 bit or if it's your windows version is 64 bit you have to open the 64 bit exe file mine window is uh, what let me check right click properties and you will see it's 64 bit so i'm going to open the 64 bit version you have to click yes okay this is the interface of this smart tool it gives you many options but I'm going to focus on on only mostly required option so what are those this you have to need this option basically this is a path wherever you're down you downloaded the apk file and you want to edit that file you have to select by this link select apk so I already downloaded in my download folder so I'm going to select this one and then open you can see it came out here okay when I will decompile my file so it's going to ask what you want to give any name I say no I just leave it as a default name whatever default name of application I'm not going to change it but you can change and this one when you done your modification any editing in that application after that if you want to change any name I mean the the lookup name the lookup name of any application the name then you have to edit this one otherwise you do not need to change it okay after this if you come in this section you will go one two three four five eight eight options yeah in all of these options you only need decompile and compile and all of these just ignore them then no 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 more need in editing or modification in your application so i'm going to focus on these two options decompile decompile is the same thing this one when you want to decompile you have to click this one and it will extract the all apk file it will decompile automatically like a rar file so when you will done notification you just need to hit compile button okay when you come in this section you will see that there are some check mark and there are some empty marks so in decompile section you will see the force delete destination directory is checked you keep it you have you should keep it checked 
and in compile section skip changes detection it's checked you should keep it checked and uh, the other one you can ignore in sign you have to select the sign apk after compile and the all other options you should keep them empty okay this is done here now how you can set the directory where you want to decompile and uh, editing any anything you have to set a directory folder for this you have to go to option and here you can select this one directory which you should change the directory address where you wanna edit result okay i'm going to set the desktop i'm going to make a folder here i'm going to write any name of the folder extractor okay and after the editing or after the any modification where you want the end results for this i'm going to change this option compile apk directory i also want on desktop folder it's i'm going to write final volume okay both are these changes. and nothing don't go anywhere else just go back to main and now i'm going to decompile my apk file okay my decompilation is successful i'm going to click ok and if you see this folder which i uh, extracted all my i mean i just decompile all the apk files so if you go inside you can see all apk files of odk and if you want to do any modification or any edit you can do it i'm not going to do it I'm just stick with my video so after the modification you done modification and after modification you just need to hit this compile button and you will got apk final result again well okay my file is compiled and signed successfully i'm going to click ok now you can see the final version here you can found your final modified application so that's it guys this is the only purpose of using this apk is it will be really easy really really you can see you can see it's really user friendly i hope you will enjoy this apk easy tool thank you